co-founder and vice president of Seed Savers Exchange. I grew up on a dairy farm about 30 miles south of where we are here at Heritage Farm. The summers were glorious. We waited for the first corn in the cob, for the first strawberries, um, for the first peas, for the new potatoes. They added joy to our summer just because they were, well, they were, they were very, very delicious. My grandparents and my parents' farm was really important to them because what they raised from their gardens had to sustain our family over the winter. My grandmother's grocery list only consisted of flour, sugar, salt, vinegar, and coffee, and everything else had to be raised from their land and from their hands. My grandfather, his pride and joy were these purple morning glories that he had trained on his porch every year. As an adult, the morning glories had to be part of my garden. So we went over and asked my grandfather for some of the seeds. He handed me this little white pillbox full of these tiny little black seeds, and he said they came over from uh, Bavaria when your great-grandparents immigrated. Holding the seeds in my hand, I felt I was linked to a family that I had never even thought about or known about. When immigrants would come into this country, they brought with them their best seeds. So Italians would bring tomatoes and peppers, and the German families would bring cabbage for sauerkraut. I know the Norwegian families here brought kale seed. Unless the stories and the seeds were saved, it'd be lost as people passed away or moved off the farm. My then-husband, Kent Whaley, and I put a small ad in the Mother Earth News. It was 1975, and we said, hey, is anybody else out there interested in saving these older varieties of seed? We had 12 people that responded. Organic gardening picked it up, and then it sort of snowballed. People started writing us letters, and soon every flat surface in our house was filled with seed packets and boxes and letters. So we quit our outside jobs and gave our full energy into developing seed savers. Today, we have over 20,000 accessions of seed in our collection. We have over 13,000 members, and Seed Savers actually has grown into the largest non-governmental seed bank in the country. Scientists who are working to grow out all of these unusual varieties of plants that people just keep sending us. They, they have our vision them. for Seed Savers was to be a, a, a living museum. So Heritage Farm, this, this beautiful farm, is here because we had a dream of having a farm where people could walk into a garden and see genetic diversity and understand that there's more than a red tomato. The happiest place at Heritage Farm is right here in my garden. I'm surrounded with plants that I know, particularly the morning glories that are growing alongside of the barn. When I walk into my garden in the morning, they're all looking at me with this big smile and all I can think about is my grandparents and their ancestors and my parents. And I feel like it's a, it's, it's turned in, it's a family garden.